Howdy folks, it's Tall Turtle here and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we're going to continue with the Carpathian's Journey bus trip. I've seen you already seen the first video which was leg one and this video is going to be just leg two because of the length. The third video will be three and four. So here we go on the antepenultimate leg already. Let's get going. Alrighty, let's get some lights going here so we can see some stuff and let's um hop outside and have a look around since it's been a few days. It looks like we're kind of at an angle here and that's kind of funny. Alrighty, let's see. We're at Lizzie. We're gonna take off. Yeah, to the northeast, 60 degrees. Wow, this is smooth. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at that. We're flying the Carpathian Mountains. 900 miles for the mountains, but 225 nautical miles, I think, for the bush trip. In the Robin, which is a lot of work, but we're making it. We're making it. We're becoming friends. We weren't friends before this, but. Now we are, so here we go. One set of flaps down, everything else should be good. Set the barometer, set the gyro drift on the compass. And let's read about what we're doing. Alrighty, leg two. Take to the sky and follow the river to the reservoir, an important reservoir that formed after the completion of the dam in 1962. That's right away, so that'll be pretty simple. 70 degrees, so pretty much straight out for minute or two and then after that we're going to turn 126 degrees and head over the reservoir continue following the river the river flows through the far to range of the carpathians past the village of strix no where the stream meets the va it's been off world war ii battles where members of the resistance wage intense mountain warfare tactics against the german army past the meandering that place, Domensiski, Maniander, 180 degree turn in the river, and continue to the town of Vrtki, which gained prominence upon the completion of the railway in 1870. The railway was a major engineering feat due to the difficulties imposed by the mountainous train of the Carpathians. So 70 degrees for a couple minutes, and then 126 for a couple minutes, and then we'll keep reading as we go. I mean, come from my chair because my back kind of hurts today. <laughs> so the way these work, actually, let's get in there first. Um, is if I have GPS and not a pilot, we read about everything. Oops. And then we um, fly it and look around. A sightseeing. But without autopilot, we have to hand fly. So I talk more because I tell you what I'm doing. And we look out the window more than exterior views just because it's hard to keep an eye on your vitals when you're using the drone. And then, because we don't have GPS, we have to hand fly and hand navigate, which is beautiful. Which means you talk about each thing place by place as we go. So, there you go. So, flaps up, brakes to stop the wheels, gears fixed. Let's get some speed before we climb more. Here we go. Alrighty. We'll turn 70 degrees in just a moment. And once we're past the runway, head over those hills. And look for that reservoir. So, here we go. 70 degrees for how many minutes? About two. So, let's start the timer. And then after that, we'll turn to the next heading. Oh my gosh, what's going on with my... Have to, yeah, we have to reset everything here. Um, what? I have no control of anything. That was weird. I had no control of anything. Okay, let's reset our current leg. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that was very strange. Let me see what's going on. And why I couldn't get any power. Um... You gonna render some stuff in here or what? That's gross. There we go. <laughs> okay, that was bizarre. As I'll get out. Um, let's see what happens here. If I do one flap and I hold the brakes as I rev up, and what if I bring back? I mean, we're only a thousand feet above sea level, so. Yeah, conditioner shouldn't have much to do with anything, or um, mixer shouldn't really have anything to do with anything right now. Hmm. Okie dokie, I don't know what the heck is going on. Let's see if we get power this time to climb, because I had no power to climb. That was really weird. That was super weird. Anyway, let's try this again. Huh. Um, so 70 degrees, a couple minutes out, looking for the reservoir. And we'll make a turn and follow the river. Um, whoa. What the heck? What's going on? Brakes us top the wheels. Why are we not getting any power to climb out? 
We bring them back mixture. It goes down, so it's too early to bring back mixture. There's no prop in this, right? Why am I not getting power to climb out of this thing? We're only climbing at 20, 10 feet per minute, 50. Oh, that's hundreds, right? Okay, there's 400 feet per minute. Now we got power. Now it's climbing. Weird. Okie dokie, I don't understand. Flaps are up, yep. Huh. I think there's something we're supposed to do over here, probably. I don't know what that does. I know you need to use the acrobatic or something. I can't remember. Anyway, we're going to keep it like that. <laughs> no, that pedo heat thing is too bright on my face. We don't need that on. Anyway, we're going to go like this. See, now it wants to climb. Beautiful. I did not start my timer. And we're not going 70 degrees because I had to avoid these hills. Well, this is an interesting start to the leg, especially being a long leg as it is. Um, any hoodle. Anyway, I want to use the drone because then the HUD isn't in the way, but then I can't see my vitals, especially when it's so touchy-feely like this. Huh. Whatever. We're going to keep climbing. We're going to look for this reservoir here, and then we'll regroup and do the next thing. Alright, I want to give you some look outside, but with the train and everything being so tricky here, um, I can't really use the drone view without being able to see what I'm doing with the vitals. So, and by vitals, I mean the six pack, which you have on the HUD, but it's ugly to fire off the HUD. But there's your reservoir, I guess, if you want to look outside. That's what we're looking for. So, once we cross over this, we can start our timer. And look for a bunch of cities that we read about already. And um, the railway and things. You can read that again if you want to pause it. Um, but otherwise, we're going to look for that stuff. Stay below train level if we can. Um, it's telling me we're off track because it's like if you want to use the back on track. But I don't need to use the back on track. I know where we are. Why is my yoke not working? I know where we are. I just didn't want to... Um, hit the mountains so anywho here we go start the timer and six minutes or so we'll look for the 180 degree bend or something I don't know what it said I'll have to reread it myself but we're gonna follow the river basically I'm gonna try to get some sightseeing in but I'm having difficulties controlling this airplane right now so I don't know if we're gonna see anything or there's just gonna be a cut just the next waypoint. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work right now. Well, so far, okay, not great, but we kind of have control of the airplane. It's just not, like, the trim isn't working or something isn't working. Um, what does this thing do? Do I dare pull on that? I can't do anything with that. So I don't know what's going on. I'm looking for the trim in the aircraft to maybe move it more quickly. Um, is that it down here, do you think? Um, what do you think that is? There we go. There's trim. <laughs> if you want to move it really quickly, 
but I prefer to move it on my yoke. My goodness. There we go. That was nice. That's what she said. Whoops. Clicked on the wrong thing. I don't see it moving, but... Uh, let's not crash into the mountain. Um, yeah, okay. Here's your 80-degree bend in the river that we're supposed to look for. And then the town of whatever you pronounce it is up here, then, obviously. So once we get there, we'll read about the next thing. But we got to make this turn without... Um, whoa. Without hitting these mountains and the train turbulence stressing the aircraft. But now that is trimmed, it's a lot better. So my trim on my yoke wasn't doing much. But the trim in the cockpit was great. See, there's 80 to 180 degree bend. And there's the town of Verki, Verki. And there is the mountain we don't want to hit. Okay, so the bus trip itself is not terribly difficult. You know how to navigate unless you want to cheat and use the purple line. The GPS on the HUD, which we're not doing. We're doing this by our, ourselves here. So it's not very difficult. I mean, it's intermediate. This plane is giving me problems, but it might just be me. So yeah, this is about an intermediate push trip or so. Below the train, my favorite place to be. Especially if I have to hand fly. If we have GPS and autopilot, I'll go above the train sometimes. Just to set it and forget it. But when we have to Oh my gosh, my yoke wasn't responding again. But when we have to hand fly, my yoke is all the way to the left. Now it's going. That was weird. Anywho, when we have to hand fly, I like to be in the action. Oof. Um, I really want to look outside, but we have to use the HUD because I need control of aircraft. So there we go. Looking around. Not looking at the purple line. I'm avoiding looking at the purple line. I don't want to see if I'm on track or not. Um, I assume we are. I mean, we're supposed to be on looking at this town, so. Alright, let's stay along the river, and what time is it? Six and a half? Yep, we're over time. So let's do the next thing here, start the timer. And 93 degrees. We're going to get there in a second. Once we can control our airplane again. Whew. Adjust that into the north. Do not crash. Um, the path... Of Va enters the Laptov Basin along the stretch, which is surrounded by the Carpathian Ranges of the Low Tatras, the Greater Fatra, and the Chok Mountains. Gain a visual on the town of Ruzumbrok, where the river meets the Va. Ooh, got smooth. And that is eight minutes. Alrighty, eight minute stretch. I'll give you some sightseeing if I can figure out where we're headed, and I'll see you in a second. So I think what we're supposed to do is what we can do is we can follow this river if we want to stay nice and low while it winds to this open area. Or we can just go over the mountains and get to the open area right there, and that's our town. I'm pretty sure that's what they want us to do. I mean, either way, um, we're going to go for it, though. We're going to go over the mountain and see what happens. <laughs> right here. Aim for right there. Look for the town Rosenbrook. I guess it's probably not pronounced that way, but that's what we're looking for. Wish me luck. Change of plans. We're going to go through here. <laughs> Sorry, that's very loud, but yeah, it's going to be easier to make that one than that one. So that's where we're going. It's a compromise because there's the river. Isn't that beautiful? 
But yeah, when we have to hand fly, I usually talk more, so less sightseeing without me, more sightseeing with me, I guess. I guess that's not so bad, right? I'll go look around at stuff and I'm just not just blabbing. Alrighty, so I'm confident we're aiming for this clearing here. That's our city. So however it takes to get there. Um, it says eight minutes and we're only five minutes in, so we're not too far behind schedule. We're doing a compromise between staying low along the river and going over those mountains because those are kind of high for us. At least they are at the moment. I'm sure if I gave myself the time and space, we could have made it, but this is better. More interesting. Much more interesting. Look at that beautiful river in there. So fun to take a kayak down that river. And there's a town, which I wanted to look at, but we got kind of fast with the bumps. So now we're back to the river. <laughs> we're just going to head over that way towards the clearing. Almost there. We're not in a hurry, though, are we? Oh, let's give this town some attention. As it disappears under the wing, it bugs me when they use low-wing aircraft for bush trips. Because the whole point is to look around. Whoa, let's be careful of our RPMs here. Because the whole point is to look around and see everything while you fly, and then they put these big wings in your way, but... That's okay. It's nice to have a very different aircraft than we usually have, so... That's fine. Yep, there's our town coming into view. Right here along the river bump. So once we get there, we'll read about the next greatest thing. Just check out how the road comes up and just drops right off. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Maybe it's supposed to. I don't know. It's just kind of funny if you ask me. But there's our town in front of us. So it's um it's um on track. We're on track from where we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to do. So that is a positive when that happens. How's our RPM looking? Ooh, we're going to blow this thing up. Whoa. Dude, chill out. Alrighty. Um, yeah, we'll reset the timer now, although we're a little bit behind because we're not over the city yet. So we'll reset, we'll, we will reset the timer once we're over the city. There's our save icon, though. Beautiful city. Alright, now we're going to continue along the Ba to the Mara, Slovakia's second largest reservoir. It was formed in 1975. Must be right there, right? Um, with the construction of the Reservoir's Dam for flood control and hydroelectricity generation. Let's start the timer and see if it takes us 4 minutes and 10 seconds to get there. And then read about the next thing we went through there. So there we go. Um, so far, so good. Coming up on three and a half minutes, so we're a little bit, not a little bit, we're on track, <laughs> what am I saying? On track, because once we get there, it'll be 410. So let's read about the next thing. We'll reset the timer when we get there. Six minutes out is the river. Break away from the Va River at this reservoir instead of due north heading. Really? Okay. Um, this part of the Carpathians is known as the best kids and compromises... A number of sub-ranges pass over the river. So we have to go that way, huh? 
a major tributary which lies along. Okay, so when we get to here, we're going to turn left to 352. Okay, that's... Okay, I guess we're going north somewhere. Something's north. All right, time to reset the timer, and we're going to head due north for six minutes, and then after that, there's a reservoir. So we're going to keep going, looking for a reservoir. Okay, so let's head north and look for a reservoir. Follow this river, wherever the river is. Ah, jeez, I'm just afraid of stressing the aircraft, that's all. Um, river goes here, I guess, like this, and up through there, and there's a reservoir up there somewhere. And we got to climb. So the river's to the right, but it's easier to get to the left. But I think we can climb here. As long as we climb, I think we're good. So I have to add time to the timer, but we'll be fine. Well, no, keep climbing. Uh, 5,000, what if I bring back... <laughs> what if I bring back... Mixture, does it go up? Nope, it just drops. So keep mixture in. And we'll just try to climb to get over this disaster. Really? Ugh, this is going to be difficult. But it's fine, we can do it. It's just going to be a little slow. So have some patience. And enjoy the scenery along the way, because that's the whole doggone point in the first place. And I think I see a reservoir ready. It's right over there. So that's where we're headed. I'm confident of it. We just got to go over these mountains. Oofta. Once we're over though, once we're over this, we're good. So we just got to get over that. And like I said, the only thing I'm worried about is stressing the aircraft. I know we can cover these mountains. I know we can get there. That's not the problem. I just don't want to stress this thing and have to redo any of this stuff. Oh yeah, we're plenty good on elevation, altitude, altitude. Plenty good. Nice. That wasn't so bad, was it? So turning a little bit towards the reservoir, resetting the timer, and seeing if we get there in 340. After the reservoir, there's Osobita. Turn, heading over the reservoir. Begin gaining altitude. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 7,000 feet. What are we at? 6,000. Okay. We won't be fine. Um, begin any gaining altitude directly over the town of Tristna. Continue on a course into into the mountains, commonly called the Tatras. Sight the mountain called Osobita in the distance. The name translates to the lonely one, and it is very distinctive as it stands above the surrounding terrain. So we'll go over the reservoir and then look for this mountain. Um, turning 137 degrees, which is turning around basically, which is fine. That's cool. But gotta get to the reservoir first, and then we're gonna turn that way. Oh boy. Looking ahead on the VFR map, because that was, that's what it's for, we're going to come up, turn back around, look for the mountain, which will go around this, and then we'll probably stay north of the mountains here, take this river to pass through the mountains to get to the south, of the mountains go along them. That's my plan. So north of the mountains, take the river pass, south of the mountains. Alright, you might get a thing saying, to get back on track, do this, but I'm not worried about it. Because I know where we're going, or do I?
Okie dokie. Check out the town over there in the mountains. Let's make sure we're still climbing. Come on now. We got... We got to get up to 7,000 feet or something. Unless we are able to go around the mountains like I planned. We'll have to see. They look kind of scary. Um, I was waiting for the save icon before I make a U-turn. Just in case something happens, I want it to save our progress. So if we don't see a save icon soon, I'll make a turn anyway. I mean, yeah, it's still a minute, ten seconds out, so... We're still fine. We are still... Fine, right? 340? Yeah. Oh, there's the dam down there, I think. Just went under the wing. Unless there, there's another dam there, too. Maybe that's the main dam. There's a save icon. Let's turn around and head 130-something degrees. What was it? I really wish these would stay collapsed. This is so annoying. Not many things annoy me, but the fact these don't collapse anymore or stay collapsed like they used to in the beginning, it bugs me. 137 degrees. And then we're going to go for five minutes. Um, and then... Yeah, five minutes to the mountain, 137 degrees, what are we at, 110. Let's be a little more aggressive on our turn, please, and coordinated as well. And let's look for the lonely mountain somewhere out there. I don't really see a lonely mountain out there. So we're just going to head this way. <laughs> and when we get near the mountains, um, we're going to, like I said, ride alongside of them until we find this river, then we'll cut through. And then go to the other side. That's my plan. I don't know if it's going to work. But that's what we're going to try to do. And the train turbulence is picking up. Or maybe I'll just go south of the mountains right now. Let's do that. Which is funny because we literally came from right here. This is the pass we crossed literally right there. That mountain right there. That's what we went over on the way here. So let's knock, because it's the same thing we just saw. So let's stay north of the mountains. Like, original plan. And then as soon as you see that river pass, then we'll cut across. I wonder if this is a lonely mountain right there. Could be. Has some friends. Mixture in this. Nope. Mixture cuts off if you bring it back at all, even though we're almost 7,000 feet up. So mixture modeling must not be very accurate in this. Or else maybe you don't need it just a mixture until you're 10,000 feet or something. But usually 5,000 feet, you got to change it. Anyway, whatever. Alright, so we're going to fly down this valley until we get to that river. Um, so we might not directly see the things they want us to do, but um, yeah, we'll have to see. We're going to have to look hard for that river. I have a feeling it's not going to be easy to spot as I think it is. So let's see. Let's keep reading. Um, I don't even really know where we are because of this not collapsing. Okay, yeah, we're past the five minutes, so that must have been the lonely one. So next, we're looking for Banakov, which um, is a ridge. Okay, so that's over here, only two minutes out, so we're probably looking right at it. That's probably it right there, so let's actually skip this and keep going. Bystra, uh, another summit. Okay, so there's the summit up here, probably that one. It's three minutes out. Turn onto a nearly due east course and fly, 7,000 feet. No, thank you. <laughs> We're just going to fly along it. Um, so that's another three minutes out or so. And then there's Caravan. Whatever that is. Adjust your heading to the south summit of Bystra and pass into the High Titra Mountains. Nope, we're going to go through them in a minute. Also called the, high, the highest point of the Carpathians and the highest 8,000 feet. Oof. Okay. 
Alpine bioregion. Oh, huh, that's cool. I'm trying to be careful here. Um, was first region of all of Europe. I'm trying to read while I navigate. Um, the national park that straddles it um, is one of the standout peaks. Pyramidal in form, the 8,000 foot high mountain is known as one of the most beautiful peaks of Slovakia. Okay, and then turn due east, and then there's other summits. So there's all these summits we're going to look at from a distance. <laughs> uh, 8,700 feet, we're not going to get that high. Dramatic peaks extending in all directions. And then Tatri land at Poprad in the big plains area with the mountains in the background. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to work. We're just going to stop that. We're just going to try to navigate and not crash and not stress the aircraft. How about that? We're losing altitude. This is hard to climb. This plane does not want to climb unless I'm doing something wrong. Um, the mixture doesn't do anything if I bring it back. So um, it just kills the engine. So we're just going to keep going along here. Um, as soon as we think we see the river, we're going to cross over to the big plains below or south of here and look for the airport. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to give you sightseeing so there's not just a cut to landing. I also want to don't want to keep talking too much. <laughs> We're talking as much as I need to. Anyway, development along the river, you would expect that. And the Grand Peaks we're supposed to be looking at. Look at all of them. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty. Um, yeah, again, bringing back mixture just kills the engine, so that doesn't help us climb. I guess maybe it's just a very, very, very slow climber. At like 60 knots or 60, like 100 knots or something. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. I don't know. Anyway, let's look for a river and get through these things safely, shall we? Ooh, now the mixture is doing something. Okay, so I don't know what the trigger point was for the modeling, but as soon as I hit like 6,700 feet or so, I brought that mixture, and now it's making a big difference. And that's what's supposed to happen, right? The higher you get, the mixture is supposed to give you more power when you bring it back. And I wasn't doing it for the longest time. And now all of a sudden, something flipped in the modeling. This is a, I said, yes, I will help you. So now we're climbing like crazy. Check this out. Okie dokie. Anyway, um, yeah, enjoy the peaks, though. And enjoy the valley. How beautiful is that? I said I wasn't going to talk, was I? Whatever, too late. I am. Is this our river already? No way is that the river already. I bet it is. Okay, so there it goes. So we're going to have to climb because this goes pretty high up through the mountain. So we're going to climb and go through here. Uh, the river's going through here, see? So we still need to get up there. But we're good now that the mixer is cooperating with us. So here we go, looking at peaks. What they want us to do is go over these peaks right there, but we're not going to. We'll get to the other side, and then look for our airport. Um, if you want to go back and get the names of these peaks, you can rewind the tape and pause. Um, but I'm just trying to navigate this safely. Oh, this is so lovely. We're almost 8,000 feet already. Nice. Yep, there's the river. I guess we could have gotten way down there next to the river. And then, no, because we have to go over this thing. Let's say go down in there next to the river. But nope, we can now, though, once we cross this thing. And I must say, doing this to make video content does add <laughs> a whole other layer of challenge than if I were to just be flying this on my own. But it's worth it, man. It's fun. Look at those beautiful peaks. Sorry we're not going on top of them, but we're not. 
We're just going to do this safely and come down through this river valley here. So bring back the throttle a little bit so we don't stress the aircraft too much. And then our airport is over there somewhere in those fields. Somewhere. I'm sure more around the corner, though. Because we're supposed to be looking at these peaks over there and then turning on. What's that thing that's been popping up? Anyway. Um, yep. So let's just start descending carefully here. I guess we can chuck out those peaks as well. And we already looked at those peaks. And careful on the speed. Throttles back. There we go. And there's our field and our airport is... Is that it already? That could be it already. Maybe it's further around the corner. No, that's not an airport. A city rendered in there. So never mind. We'll have to keep heading that direction until we see what it is we're looking for. And then maybe we'll find the airport. That could be it right there. Maybe. I don't know. Time to turn that way, though, and start checking things out. Since we're not following the mountain range, like literally not riding the ridge there, look at that peak. We're going to follow this road, because roads always lead somewhere. So we'll follow this road, and that should lead us to the town where Pop Rad is. And um, we'll see what happens. Nothing's, nothing is rendered in yet over there, but... I'm thinking that's a runway right there. I'm thinking that rendered in before the town. Because see the town is behind it. I, yeah, that has to be a runway. So there we go. We know where we're headed and it's time to head there and let's get there. But no hurry. We're only like 15 minutes behind. <laughs> Whenever we're this far away, and it's a big open field, it seems like forever <laughs> to get somewhere to land. So we're just going to be patient and bring back our throttles a little bit. And we're just going to follow the path in for the next couple minutes. Whoa. And land. Looking around a few more times before we wrap up the sightseeing. Even though we have a long, straight approach, it's not difficult to mess it up from looking around. So here we go into Pop Rad. All right, one one yellow, what red, yellow, green, <laughs> one red on the pappy. So let's keep our descent. We'll slow down a little bit. Um, we'll let it take forever to get there. I think. Oh, we can slow down, but no, maybe. And we'll stay on this glide path. And we'll fly on in. No other traffic, of course. All right, first set of flaps. And we'll go over the little village. And get back on the glide path, because we're a little high, it says. But those trees make me nervous. Even though this plane doesn't want to climb, it sure doesn't want to land either. It just wants to kind of glide along at low altitude, it seems like. But we'll get this figured out. We know it stalls at 90 to 95 knots, so we'll aim for, like, touchdown around 100. There's our glide path, so let's do about 500 feet per minute. If you don't know the published glide path, 500 feet per minute is a good rule to follow. And we weren't following it, so now we're a little bit above it. Full flap now. And looking to get back on the glide path, even though I'm nervous because of the trees. So, well, we should be fine. Maybe. Stay above those trees, though. Stay above the trees. 
once we're past the trees, we can drop down. So, here we go. Do not touch those trees. 300 feet per minute, that's fine. Oh, yeah, stalling already, isn't it? I forgot it stalls just before the white arc ends. There we go. We're beyond the trees. Cool. Alrighty. I don't mind touching down that stall, but you're not supposed to stall <laughs> 200 yards from the runway. <laughs> but that's okay. We're fine. We are fine. What a beautiful looking surface. There we go. Coast on down. And there's the stall horn. That's what he wanted to hear. And boom. That's a little rougher than I was hoping for, but still fine. Flaps coming in. Brakes. And nose wheel down. There we go. Oh, it didn't take that much longer than it was supposed to. But anyway, only leg in this video. I gotta take a stretch and subscribe so you know when the final two legs drop in the next video. And like button, of course. Everybody knows we exist. I'll see you next time to finish this thing.